Is this the future of rice farming in Thailand? A basic laptop and an internet connection. Paramit Benjanoon has started a company he hopes will take his parents' business onto a new level. It matches rice supply with rice demand online and makes it easier to pay via a single website. New technologies have helped startup companies like my own to step into a market with no limitation. I can promote my products online via YouTube, Facebook, Line application, make easy to advertise and able to give information. It's here at a tech business summit that Thailand is laying out its plans and encouraging people like Paramet. Thailand wants to be a leader in technology and rid itself of often archaic and time-consuming business practices. Streamlining the agricultural industry would be a major step forward. One businessman thinks it could work simply because there needs to be a shake-up. The sad part is I think the old methodology and how farmers have access to funds or what processes they can use, it's not developed so much to make it easy for them today. Nations I know like India, there are a lot of farmers who struggle to get money to do basic farming. Thailand is one of the biggest rice exporters in the world. Almost 40% of Thailand's labor force is in agriculture and the majority of those are in rice. Farmers rely heavily on government subsidies which have been mismanaged according to world financial institutions to such a degree that Thailand now produces less rice despite increased demand. Matching buyers and sellers through new technology could help make a young generation of rice farmers become financially independent. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.